Hi friends, welcome to Harmony Hills Home and Garden. I'm Jenny and we live and garden in Baltimore, Maryland, Zone 7. Today I want to talk a little bit about my bird feeder camera that I have. I did a video on it last year and I've been loving it and I think you might love it too. And I also wanted to share with you this attachment that you can get to it. There's a sale happening, so let's talk about it. This is the NetView BirdFi AI bird feeder camera. It has a motion sensor camera in it. It captures 10 seconds worth of video when any sort of uh, creature visits the bird feeder. And so you get these little 10 second videos of the birds who come to your feeder, sometimes the squirrels as well. I was provided this bird feeder camera last year from the NetView company, and I've been enjoying it ever since. And I wanted to let you know about a sale that's happening right now for the Easter holiday. Um, when you go to the website, you can spin to win a different uh, discount codes and there's also an option if you spin you might win a free bird feeder camera so go, go check out their website and see what kind of discount you can get for yourself this is the BirdFi AI feeder it has the smart bird recognition software attached to it it also comes with the solar panel that means that you don't ever have to take it inside to charge it I've been loving this camera bird feeder, I, especially we have a pair of cardinals. I believe it's only one male and one female that's been coming to visit, but they come every day like clockwork and they just sit here and they enjoy the feeder. We are also getting sparrows. And finches and squirrels. Yes, always the squirrels. Um, but you know, the squirrels are people too, right? So um, I've been loving this camera. I, every time I have a break in my day, I just go over to the app on my phone and I can watch the day's video captures and I get to say hello to my favorite Cardinals. And my favorite squirrel as well. Now, uh, NetView sent me out this new perch. This has options. I'll be able to replace this blue perch here with this one. And this has a hummingbird feeder attachment, a little cup that you can put nectar in. It has a fork onto which you can spear uh, an orange slice or uh, some other kind of fruit that you think your birds might enjoy. It has a cute little sign that you can customize for your videos to have a cute sign. And it also has a suet ball feeder attached to it. It also has two clear cups that you can put a different kind of um, food in there like peanuts or um, cranberries or some other sort of uh, maybe jelly to draw in some um, Orioles or something like that. So these little cups are removable and washable. All of these attachments are removable and washable and they don't interfere with the bird seed um, uh, that is already in the feeder as well. I don't happen to have any suet balls right now, but I do have this suet cake. So I think I'm just gonna cut a square of this and put it in the suet ball holder.
Well, I've given the birds a smorgasbord of options. We've got hummingbird nectar, we've got a happy hour sign, a banana, some suet and some grape jelly, some black seeded, uh, black oiled sunflower seeds, and the regular bird seed here as well. Uh, I am really hoping that we'll get some additional kinds of birds in addition to the cardinals and the sparrows and the we had some tufted titmouse birds in here we had some finches so uh, I know there are more than that kinds of birds in the neighborhood so I'm really hoping to draw some in with this feeder now when you put fresh things out here like banana or grape jelly you have got to stay on top of it don't do it in the extra hot weather because it might go rancid and same thing with the suet, although this suet said it, says it won't go rancid, but you know, you don't want to take any chances. Uh, so make sure you um, clean these cups and this fork and really the whole perch regularly, every day in the hot weather for sure, maybe every other day if it's cold, but don't risk your bird's health. Keep your feeder clean so that your birds don't suffer any sort of disease issues. Um, and as far as the hummingbirds go, I know that they've been spotted in North Carolina. I think they've been in Virginia already. So maybe in the next couple of days, they'll be making their way up here into Baltimore. So we only get one kind of hummingbird. That's the ruby-throated hummingbird. Um, and I'm hopeful that I'll be able to draw the hummingbird into this feeder. Wouldn't that be awesome? Anyway, I just wanted to let you know about this sale that's going on and share my delight with this bird feeder. I've really enjoyed it and I think you would too, but I am not here on YouTube to be a salesperson only, of course. So uh, I don't consider myself to be a primarily an influencer. I consider myself primarily to be your garden friend. So one friend to another, I do love this. I think you would too, but please don't feel any pressure to purchase. But if you want to, there's a good sale going on right now with an option to maybe win one for free. So you might want to consider it. Links down in the description box down below. Thank you so much for joining me today. Again, no pressure to buy, but I really do think you'll enjoy it. So take care. Have a wonderful day in your garden, friends, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.